Welcome back to the channel everyone, I hope you're all well. Today in the Vegetastic Mum kitchen we're going to be making vegetarian stuffed mushrooms. Let's go have a look what we need. So we're going to need eight chestnut mushrooms all prepped, so the middle's out, washed and dried. 75 grams of cheddar cheese grated, two ounces of cream cheese, 55 grams of washed spinach, 35 grams of finely chopped mushrooms, three teaspoons of garlic, a tablespoon of butter, a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of mixed herbs, and a teaspoon of salt. So for this recipe today, we're going to be using a combination again of the induction hub and my trusty red air fryer. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna put our induction hub. Remember, you can use your gas hobs, it's absolutely fine. We're going to pop our induction hob on number six. And we're going to pop, melt our tablespoon of butter in the pan. Now, these mushrooms are so simple to make and they're really tasty. Either on their own as a snack or maybe with a main meal. Okay. So now we've got some bubbles coming up on the butter. We're going to add in our garlic. And our mushrooms. And give those a stir. Now we're just looking to just saute these just for a couple of minutes. This recipe called for two teaspoons of garlic, but I really like garlic, especially with mushrooms. So I added an extra one in, but that's just for my, my tastes. If you're not that keen on a strong flavor of garlic, that's fine, just do the two or even the one if you're not a massive garlic fan. But I love garlic, so we've added an extra one. Now we're going to add in our spinach. I'm going to get all this coated in the mushroom and the garlic and the butter from the pan. I'm just ooh, escaping. I'm just going to let that cook down just for a minute or two. We're now also going to add our salt, our mixed herbs and our pepper. And at this stage, we're also going to add in our cream cheese. I'm going to mix all this together. It smells lovely. Now, once the cream cheese has melted down, we're going to take the pan off the heat and turn our hob off. It smells beautiful. Okay, so we're going to turn our heat off, take our pan off the heat, and we're going to add in our grated cheese. I'm going to give that a mix in. Okay. So remember, we're not aiming to melt the grated cheese in here at the moment. It's just a case of mixing it in. Okay, now this is where we need our mushrooms. And as the same as normal, I've lined out the bottom of the air fryer with our parchment paper. So all we're going to do is get a teaspoon of our filling and just gently tease it in to our mushroom. 
Now you can fill these as much as you like. If you want to overflow them, that's fine. If you only want a little bit, again, that's fine. Right, I'm gonna keep filling these out and I'll come back to you in a moment. Okay, so as you can see, I've filled them quite nicely. Now, all we're gonna do is place them into our air fryer. Okay, try and space them apart so they're not touching if you can. There we go. And now, we're gonna pop these into the air fryer and we're going to cook them 200 for eight minutes. Off we go. So now we're into our last minute and we'll uh, take these out and see what they've turned out like. Oh, look at those. Beautiful. So we're gonna cut this one in half and have a look. Got lots of spinach in there. You can see the cheese is browned on the top. Let's go for the taste test. Now, unfortunately, my two little helpers aren't here to help me today. They're still at school, so. Let's see. It smells beautiful. Mm. The mushrooms are just that, the perfect texture. They're not, not too soft, but they're not too hard. They're just at that right point. There's plenty of garlic in these. It's beautiful. You can taste you can taste every element of these mushrooms. You've got the nutty flavour of the chestnut mushrooms, the spinach, the cream cheese, the cheddar cheese, the herbs, especially the garlic. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. Amazing. These were so quick and simple to make. Literally less than half an hour. Less than... 20 minutes probably absolutely beautiful F to go with a main meal or as a snack or as a lunch amazing so that's it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed this recipe so simple so quick and super tasty thank you for following the channel please remember to like like and subscribe and support us um, and if you've got any recipes that you would like me to try um, or find and, and try out for you drop me a link in the comments box below and I will happily do that for you and until next time happy cooking